Clog America really, uh, it brings a part of our culture to the rest of the world that they may not be familiar with. They may have seen it in movies, they may have seen bits and pieces here and there in our pop culture, things that uh, hit the international scene, but they don't know really uh, what it's all about. When we come, we're able to show them through our music and through our dance um, a bit of what our, not necessarily our everyday life, but um, kind of why we are the way that we are, uh, how we got our start. And I think that that free spirit that we bring with us on the stage is really has a lot to do with why our country is the way that it is now. Uh, this tour began in Rome, and then we took a bus ride, which was 26 hours, up to Poland. And this Polish festival was supposedly the largest yearly festival. We really play off of the audience's response and Poland was absolutely amazing. They loved it. They really got into it and it was encore after encore and we could hardly keep up with with what they wanted and um, but the audiences really seemed to have a, a warm welcoming response to us. They make it fun. They are what honestly they're what makes the show. I don't know the exact number of groups that are out there representing the United States, but I, I think it's less than five groups that tour like we do with a, a band and dancers that go to these international folk festivals. And my understanding is that there are about 300 or more uh, sea off sanctioned festivals every summer in Europe alone. The whole world generally thinks that Americans are egocentric that they think about themselves and not about the rest of the world and the plight of these other countries and, and all those kinds of things. They have that concept probably from the movies and from the media. And so when we're not representing at these folk festivals, I think it sends that same message that we don't care about uh, what's going on with the rest of the world. Most cities in Europe and around the world have multiple dance teams in every town. So. For instance, when we were in Poland, they told us originally that the festival we went to, which is just one of many, many festivals in Poland alone, had 60 Polish groups coming to it. And there were 20, I think about 20 groups, uh, international groups that were there in addition to that. And so 60 groups from just Poland in this one festival, that's quite a few groups. That, that tells you how important folk dancing and music is to these other countries. One of the most important things that we do is, is to create an awareness, even for the rest of us in our group, of how important it is to preserve your culture and how important culture is to the rest of the world. Jakieś takie peryferyjne, być może państwa, o których wcześniej słyszeli tylko, powiedzmy, z jakichś doniesień prasowych, czy czy z przekazów telewizyjnych, no, mo można na żywo zobaczyć, jak, jacy są, tu są ludzie, jak, jak mieszkają, jak żyją, kim są, po prostu. Myślę, że, że to jest naj najważniejsze. Muszę się uczyć angielskiego i później z nimi porozmawiać, tak bardziej. No właśnie. Tak, bardzo mi się podobał. Bardzo mi się podoba. Zresztą w ogóle podoba mi się um, ten styl i w ogóle podoba mi się no, ta muzyka. Um, przypomina mi to takie um, dawne czasy, kiedy jeszcze na świecie było inaczej. Tak jest, jest w tym coś takiego um, pięknego. Nie ma tam tego e, takiego no tego zła, które się w tej chwileczce w świecie dzieje. Jest to takie, nie ma tam tego takiego jakiegoś, jakby to powiedzieć, takiego obnażania się, czy coś w tym rodzaju, że jest to takie, takie no takie... Spontaniczne i wesołe. Jest to jest takie, takie spontaniczne i takie... I haven't seen people, you know, like quarreling or fighting here. And I've been with you like in many different situations. I can see people who help each other, who like each other, who, who try to do good to each other. So I'm really impressed with that because you, you, you don't see that much actually. 
especially in Poland. Bardzo was kochamy! We performed at the military base here in Aviano, but we didn't have time to uh, arrange the large playing area. So they gave us two places to play. The first one was outside of a, of a restaurant, and the second one, one was inside the base exchange in the commissary. And so we performed like, kind of like a shopping mall. And so we walked right up and, and played to the audience like we would any other audience. And it was a little bit different, but, but we're ready for anything. As far as our humanitarian efforts go, I don't, I don't know of any other folk groups that do that, you know, that, uh, that sacrifice time and money and space in their suitcases to take humanitarian items to children. And I think those kids were definitely the only Americans I've ever met. And, you know, just like the way we got to interact with them and the way we got to know them, I, I hope they never forget. I don't think they will. We've had an opportunity to uh, to meet a lot of different people, a lot of different um, groups of people, not just other dancers or other performing groups, but we've been to the orphanage and we've been uh, to um, a mental hospital in Poland. Uh, we've had an opportunity to do a lot of humanitarian aid, a lot of things that I didn't really expect to come out of Clog America, uh, but have really affected, affected me. I've been going on tours almost consistently for about 16 years. And at the beginning of my festival experience, um, as an American, I was, I would consider myself to be kind of rock star status. You know, anywhere I went, people wanted to meet an American. They would come up off the streets, they wanted just to, just to touch you, they want, everybody wanted your autograph. I gave away my address to every, everybody, and I got so many letters and, and things like that. Everybody wants a photo with you, and they just, they want to be connected to, to America. And so, over the years, things have changed a little bit as the political arena has changed. We really are living in a, at a time when there is a lot of, of unrest in the world, and we seem to be kind of the center of that uh, right now, um, whether that's positive or negative. Uh, but we, as Clog America, we come through our music and our dance, um, and we're able to show people that we... Um, we want these friendships. We want friendships with these other countries. We want to have peace. We want to have uh, good relations. And I think that's what's so important about what Clog America does is, is uh, we, not only do we perform for people in these villages, in these towns, um, older people, but we, get, we have an opportunity to meet a lot of the other teams that have younger people our age. And we're able to give them another impression of the United States and that they may not have seen before. When you go to these festival tours, you don't just meet the people in the places where you go. Like right now, we're in Aviano, Italy. We've met a lot of Italians, but I've spent more time with people from the other countries that are performing here in the festival. So I have a better understanding of Croatia and their feelings about the world and about life and about music and, and everything uh, than I probably do about the local Aviano Italians. And so uh, this traveling helps, helps us to, to understand so much about so many people. And when I travel in, in the United States, if I go to a larger city like Chicago, I'll likely encounter a lot of these cultures and I'll have an instant connection with them. I started traveling with this group last year and I always heard people say, you know, oh, we're spreading peace and we're, you know, we're helping people change their view of America. And I always thought, yeah, okay, whatever, sure. You know, like we're just, there are just this dance group, you know, and we're not really changing any lives. But I think after a while, it kind of like it kind of got to me, and I realized, you know, the people that I met, maybe I was the only American they'd ever met, you know, and maybe I really was changing how people think, and maybe I was really making a difference. And so I think, I think, yeah, I think Clog America really does a lot for changing the way people think about America, spreading peace. Yeah, I guess I mean, I guess we spread as much peace as we can, as much as any group can do. But I think we definitely change the way people think about America.
koncerty zespołu Club America w Polsce sponsorowane są przez dwie fundacje. Fundację US Artists International oraz Fundację Mutual Understanding. Przed Państwem zespół Club America z USA.